Hey guys, John here. Welcome to 5-Minute Presets. Today we're in Pigments again, and let's make something aggressive. So let's start the countdown, file new preset. So let's go with the wavetable, maybe something kind of, let's see what we have in here. Maybe that might work. Broken Reese 2. Let's see how far this gets us here. So let's put this on an envelope. Drop this down maybe an octave. Can that one be kind of cool? And put this on a different envelope. Actually, you know what? Let's keep it on the second envelope. Maybe detune this a little bit more. And crank it through the uh, MS-20 again. Okay, so let's see what we can do with our effects here. Do we want to layer this with anything? You know what? Let's layer, layer this with an analog engine here. Do we change the tuning? Oh, that's 11. That's why. I was like, good lord, something's wrong. Okay, so let's hit this with some uh, some distortion here. Let's do a tape. Let's do another distortion. Oh, you know what? Maybe germanium. And even before we hit that with some distortion, it's kind of nice if we drive it with a multiband and push those into the distortion. Okay, so for this here, I mean, let's see. You know, I might do without this one because I do want to do something different. So let's have one distortion here. And the next one, let's do a multi-filter, but let's go for a notch. And let's go kind of high, maybe 36, tighten up that Q. And modulate maybe something kind of like that, like going down or something like that. So let's use maybe a function for that. Let's go. Let's have it go a little bit faster here. Maybe let's do, maybe a Hertz value. I might do better. And let's do that once again with another multi-filter. And we're going to do notch again. Maybe do 24 for this time. Tighten up that Q. Use the same function. That's cool. Okay, so maybe put these on one shot. And then maybe let's go here for a delay, something like that might be kind of cool, and take a lot of that low end out. And what I'm going to do, since it's kind of low end here, let's do a little high pass here, maybe 24. So we get the texture of that low end. And then maybe on the utility engine, let's turn on the sub oscillator and send this direct out. So a little bit of cleaner low end. So let's do our macros if we can. So cut, this one's going to be resonance here. Let's go kind of high like that. And then third's going to be our sub. Turn this down, turn this up here. Effects, we really only have distortion and some delay. So let's see, distortion, put here dry wet, maybe about 50% like we had it there. And then we have our delay. So number four is going to be delay, which is 28%. And maybe just a little reverb for... Uh, for good time's sake here. So let's add some reverb here, cut some of those lows, maybe some of those highs, bring this down, increase a little bit more of our dampening, bring down the decay and open up the size. See if we can label our things here. Cut off, 
let's see res and then sub and then fx we have five seconds did i map this already i did not okay we'll put this down here put it up like that okay jesus christ that was close okay so here we go I mean, that can almost function like a bass, maybe, or also like a lead if we're playing up here. This would also be kind of cool if we did another sequence or something like that. That's kind of ugly down there, right? Okay, let's call this the ugly bass because it's ugly and it's kind of gross. All right, so if you want the ugly bass, if you want to have that in your life, there's a link in the video description below and it can be yours with a click. So thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.